This feels like a very rapid, uh, fast-moving development even before the official results have been announced. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening and what is the economy minister saying now? Sherry, this is a historic moment in Argentina where Javier Millet, an outsider, uh, 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 an outsider candidate proposing radical economic policies, uh, has been elected uh, the new president, president-elect of Argentina. Uh, Massa conceded. We still do not have official uh, voting numbers, but Massa uh, said he called Millet to congratulate him, as you mentioned, uh, and conceded that he lost. Uh, now questions are going to go towards Millet's really radical economic policies. Uh, he's considered exchanging, uh, changing Argentina's national currency from the peso to the U.S. dollar, known as dollarization. How does that work? Millet's also talked about closing Argentina's central bank. It's not really clear what the technical steps would be uh, to get there, so I think Mark are really going to be concerned about a lot of uncertain details at this point. Huge challenges for the economy, as we spoke about in the last hour. Can the markets, I guess, are sort of, were the markets prepared for this as one of the possible scenarios? And how, I guess, extreme do you expect the reaction to be? We reported that markets were not expecting a Millet victory. Uh, bond prices had been fairly stable in recent weeks, and the parallel exchange rate, Argentina has multiple exchange rates. The parallel, which is free floating, was relatively stable and actually strengthened a bit, uh, which investors had indicated that markets were pricing in a massive victory, as in the incumbent government would continue for another four years. Of course, those expectations have been overhauled tonight with a much, an earlier than expected uh, result. Massa came out conceded uh, that he lost, uh, and we still do not have uh, official results yet, but we do know uh, from Massa's speech that, that Emil, Javier Millet will be Argentina's next president. So markets are going to be in for a ride. You're going to see the global bonds uh, trade early ten or t this tonight uh, and, and tomorrow morning, and then uh, we'll see the currency uh, go on Tuesday or Wednesday because Argentina has a national holiday on Monday, so the currency, the peso, will not be trading, uh, but the bonds will be trading uh, overnight in global markets.